Hey everybody, how's it going? I want to do a review on this Cobalt cordless drill holster. Item number 2416822. Holds the most T-handle cordless drills. I want to say first that the uh, fabric, the construction quality, the stitching feels real nice. It's got a nice Cobalt logo right there in the front. And it's uh, rubbery and it's stitched on. I want to see, it's got a pretty cool little pouch right here for your bits or nails or screws or whatever you like to use. Uh, you cannot remove it. It's stitched in there. And it does have this little string. You can tie it, close whatever it is. Um, it does have a couple little bit holders. They are stretchy, spandexy. So you got four, and then you got two bigger ones there. Uh, and I'll, I'll test it with a couple of different sizes of drills. This here it holds your tool in place. Nice click. There's nothing Velcro right there. Um, you can adjust the length of it according to the size of your drill. Squeeze it, it pops right out. You know, there's a cool thing about that Velcro is that you can just Velcro it, it stays up. Uh, so one thing I didn't like about it is this here. Uh, when I pull, when I draw my drill, my finger does kind of flick that a little bit. I mean, if you were to jam your finger real hard, it probably might hurt, especially if you have longer fingernails. Uh, we're going to start it with this Milwaukee. M12 a screwdriver. So it does fit. Actually, a lot nicer than I thought. Even though it's a smaller drill. Because I am doing this video one-handed, I won't be able to model it for you guys. So that keeps it locked in there real good. The belt loop, you know, it's not Velcro, it's just stitched on there. But uh, you can put it on your regular pant belt or even like a universal tool belt. opening. The shorter drill doesn't really go all the way down. And the trigger right here. So you can see I'm trying to pull it. I can't really get it. And that's okay, that's cool. I don't want to bounce around and pull the trigger while I'm walking. And a little loose, but that's probably because it's a smaller drill. Uh, let's do a bigger size drill. Got my little Black & Decker 20 volt drill. And it's probably about the size of a Makita or even a Milwaukee M18. So let's see if it fits in there pretty well too. Any other drills of comparison, you know, DeWalt's or whatever. We got yeah, let's try this big old beast here. Ryobi. This thing's freaking heavy. This is the biggest drill that I got. See, there it goes. So this one's got a good tight fit on it. And uh, has a quick release bit on the end right there. Um, so 
Let's see. That's a big one here. It still fits well. Now, the cool thing about these here is that they can fit different types of bits, but personally, I'd like to put something that's a little bit bigger on the front. That way, it doesn't slip all the way through. Yeah. And how about these little pockets here? Say you like to use your drill and maybe you like to have a couple of screwdrivers with you. Just in case. There's little stickers. Screwdrivers right there. Yeah. Mm. Granted, these screwdrivers might get in your way. But I'm sure these bigger slots will serve some purpose. Who knows? I don't have anything really big enough to put in there. But, uh, you know, for those of you who might consider buying it, there's a little something for you to look at. You know? But like I said, you know, I'm trying to, you know, stick your finger there or something. But, uh, you know, not everything is perfect. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice, you know, a little bit of room for a little bit of length or bulk or just one little thing that you wish was in another location. I don't know, it's a good holster, a good size. I'm sorry, I don't have any cobalt drills to actually put in there. But we'll see in the future, maybe. And until then, another look, some cobalt cordless drill holster, item number 2416822, and there's a picture with the actual cobalt drill in there. And so y'all, have a nice day.